Wagwan and welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank and let's get right into this episode. Last time out, Lucas Dimitri had another dominant victory with another KO. In this episode, we will see who we will be fighting against for our ninth fight. Hopefully it will be our ninth KO. I'm not too sure, but it looks like Danny Jacobs, 21 ranked fighter, will be the person we fight at the Metro Manila. $30,000 for the win and i truly do believe we will be getting that we will be training with the champion in this training camp so i will see everybody when it's time to get in there and spar let's go it's that time uh, once again we are back on this game and it has been some time for me honestly since i've been back on fight night champions i really have been playing that ea mma because i know a lot of you guys have been asking for it but if you haven't checked that out feel free to go out and click the video in the top right. I will be linking it up there as a card. So if you would like to watch, go watch that right now and then you can come right back to this video and continue watching the ninth fight of Lucas Dimitri. But here we are in Philadelphia once again. Once I become the champion, maybe I'll go somewhere else like Detroit or something. But I do kind of like the griminess of Philadelphia. And who saw Philadelphia last night if you watch NFL football take a huge loss. I'm talking about a huge loss to the Buccaneers. Ever since my 49ers put that whoop ass on them i'm pretty sure they was 11 and 1 before we beat them then they might have uh, had one win before the last five losses of the season so they definitely choked and then they definitely got bounced out in the wild card round of the playoffs which is pretty disappointing you know you can't really do anything about it for the philadelphia fans it's disappointing i wanted to see them get bounced out same thing with the cowboys me personally i don't really like the cowboys but a beautiful uppercut let's go move in oh yeah come on man keep working keep working this the champion y'all get above me bro Good slip, good slip. Oh, yeah, we switching. Beautiful uppercut and a right hand, man. There it is. Trying to land it. Beautiful. Uppercut, slipping. Good hook to the body. Beautiful. Again, another one. Good slip, uppercut. They're going to double it up. There's a jab. Yo, this champion is not playing right now. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't get 30,000, but hey. I'm not gonna lie, it's just a little bit of a warm up. And there he goes, he ends up cracking me with a good punch at the end of that round. And I got a decent amount of XP. I probably got about 500, maybe 600 XP. So I'll take that. And of course, we know the drill. We have to, actually, let me see how much time we got left. I definitely am going to do one more sparring session to get a little bit more XP. Let's get back out there. We got Lucas Dimitri versus somebody Lucas. <laughs> like his alter ego here, Dimitri Lucas versus Lucas Dimitri. But it's looking good, though. Low stamina, as we can see, obviously, it's because, I mean, we was just in here sparring. So he only has 50% stamina to work with, but we'll make it work. I mean, I just want to be prepared because this could be me in a fight. You know what I'm saying? If, if it gets very drastic, I could be here just trying to hold on with barely any uh, stamina. So that could be a instance that we find ourselves in. Ooh, try to land that beautiful straight. There it is. Nice. Good step back. And there's a straight to the face. That is one of the best punches we got. A little step back. Pull counter straight. Not looking good for Lucas Dimitri. I think I'm probably about to go down right here, guys. I really don't want to, though. I'm going to try and hold on as long as possible. But it looks like Lucas is putting in a pretty good attack on me. Good jab, though. Slipping off. There it is. Beautiful. I'm going to have to really stay poised, though. Beautiful. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Good one, two. Good slip. Uppercut. Let's go, man. Keep moving forward. Uppercut. Right hook. Good block. Another uppercut and another right hook. Oh, shit. Excuse my language. But dang, I did not expect that one. A good right hand to the body, but it's a left and a straight coming in. Oh, my days. I'm on my high horse. I'm moving around. I'm on a horse. Trying to keep my feet about me. Maybe I can get 20K. Nothing crazy. But I would like to probably get more than that every time. Just look at that stamina. Nothing we can do about it. But I'm trying to work, man. Just trying to stay poised and believe in myself, which I do still firmly. Good body hook. Nothing coming from it, though. Switch the stance. Look to hit it. And there we go. All right. I'm pretty sure that's all we will be doing this training camp. With that being done, the sparring in the books, I think it is time to fight this man, Danny Jacobs. 24 wins, two losses, 20 knockouts. It's a pretty good clip. Now, there's one thing I want to do. I totally forgot. I want to do this before I go in. Let's see. Bell ringer. We're going to upgrade that right hook to the body even more until eventually we'll get a flash knockout with it. It is that time to go out here and punch Danny Jacobs in the face and in the body. I will see everybody when it's time to get this ninth 
TKO victory. And we are here from the Metro Manila Arena. Danny Jacobs, 27 years young, 6'1 versus Lucas Dimitri, 21 years young. Nine inch reach, and they are the same weight. Here he is from Las Vegas, Nevada, Lucas Dimitri. He's feeling good in the all black slash silver, and he is being sponsored this fight. I'm pretty sure it's Grant, but here he is in the Everlast from Brooklyn, New York, USA. Zero draws, two losses, and 24 wins with 20 knockouts. Both rocking the same look on the hair, but I feel like we got a better chance of winning it. Wow, I like those trunks he got, Jacobs. Here we go, Danny Jacobs now. Beautiful. There it is, good right hand, already. Already. Step back, good slip. Good body hook, man. Those body hooks are nasty. That's the main goal, of course, of Lucas Dimitri is to work that body. Good blocking now. Beautiful body hook. And it could be over for Danny Jacobs already. I'm looking to drop him early. Let's see. Oh, good one-two. Good one-two. Jab to the body. There it is. That right hand is crushing. Look at him already backing up. Good slip. Good body hook. Step off, step off. Uppercut, missing though. Oh, wow. He's stepping in. Beautiful slipping from Danny Jacobs. It's all about using the one-two, though, and a beautiful hook to the body as well. And there it is again, but he cracks me. Oh, and he dropped Lucas Dimitri to the floor. What was it? A monstrous left hook is what crushed him. And look at that. Sat him straight back, and Lucas Dimitri goes down again in his career. Not expecting that, but let's make sure it doesn't happen again, right? Step back, throw that straight. That's the game plan. It's going to be straight in body hooks. There's the body hook. Step back. Ooh. Yo, Danny Jacobs is coming with some heat. There we go. Now we working on Danny Jacobs. This is what I'm talking about. Step back. Use that distance. Use that reach. And make sure we got him. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful combinations. That's beautiful combinations from Lucas Dimitri right here. There's the jab and the straight. Stepping off to the side. Looking for the body hook now. And there it is. Beautiful. Another one. Looking difficult. Woo. End of the first round in the books, and Danny Jacobs for sure is up 10 8 due to the knockdown, but I still don't believe that he has me in the books. Oh, crap! A good rock again. He has really nice hooks. That's the only thing Danny Jacobs got on me is these hooks. But let's see. Uppercut missing. Looking for the jab to the body. No luck. I'm about to start throwing this step back straight. This is probably what's going to rock him. Step back, step off to the side. Good left hand though. I'm trying to focus right now, so if my commentary goes a bit lax, my apologies. Let's switch over to the orthodox stance. Looking for the one-two, and there it is. Beautiful. Now the body hook just does not clip him, but that one does. Get up off me, get up off me. Good one-two to the body. There's another one, and the right hook to the face. Beautiful hook to the body. And another one. Another one. Keep throwing them. Keep throwing them. Keep throwing them, Luke. Good slips from Danny Jacobs. Wow, he tried to knock me out with that hook again, but no luck. Beautiful uppercut. He's counterfighting me for sure, but let's see. Come on, throw them punches, man. I'm ready. Beautiful. Step back, good. Straight again, there it is. Starting to work them straights. Beautiful body hook. Another one, and another one. He's gonna drop soon. Oh, he's done, he's done, he's done. Move in, move in, move in, Luke, move in. Oh my days, man. He's bo oh, these hooks to the face he's throwing at me are crazy. But oh my, look at him, we're fighting here. Beautiful body up uppercut, excuse me. But we're going at it. Look at his face. Starting to get red there on the eye. And we are starting to see a lot more damage pile up on Jacobs. Yeah, he can drop me once and rock me another time. But will he be there when the body shots keep hitting him? That's my question. And look at him, clinching up. Good body hook again. These are monstrous punches. Bad intentions all up in these punches. There's no way you're going to just come back from this. Look, I'm divvying it up. I'm going low with the jab. I'm going high with the hooks. I'm about to go low to the body again. Ooh, he's hitting me with some good punches, though. Let's step back. There we go. Good straight. Good straight. Good straight again. Oh, wow. 
He's throwing some really good hooks now. I gotta really just mind my distance, mind my P's and Q's. And here it is, a good stance switch. I actually like fighting on this side a bit more. I'm actually gonna go to Southpaw. There we go. Step back. Good jab. He's doing a good pressure look. I like it. I like it. There's a good body hook, though. Another one. Good left hook. This dude's a pressure fighter. For sure, but here we are right here, man. I'm still here, bro. What? I didn't crush him with that uppercut. Get up off me. Good slips, though, from Lucas Dimitri. This Daniel Jacobs cat can't really touch him right now. And there it is, of course. As soon as I say something, he gets popped by a pretty good punch, and now we're looking for it. We're going to have to hold on here. We're going to have to hold on. Lucas Dimitri is looking like he's going to get dropped. But look at Jacobs. Tripping. I'm not going to lie. I think I still have that round. Maybe not. Jacobs actually won that one. It's looking like it's pretty... It's, it's even right now. But he, he dropped me in that first round, so that's what got him up right now. 29 to 27 in this fight. Good uppercut. I'm just waiting for it. Good block. Come on. Beautiful right hand. We're just kind of keeping that range. I mean, it's 10, 10 rounds of good action of boxing. So we know exactly what we have time to do. So I'm not, like, trying to rush anything. Especially not in this situation. Good uppercut. Oh, yeah, he almost took my head off. Step back. There's a straight, but no luck. Beautiful left hand. Didn't hit him. Good body hook. Another one. Wow, he came back with a nice, mean uppercut. Yeah. What's up, man? Come on. I'm waiting for him to put them hands down. Beautiful. Beautiful straight to the body, man. Nice uppercut. Body uppercut as well. Looking for the body hook now. It's going to hit. It's going to hit. It has to. There we go. Another one. Oh, and another uppercut. Beautiful. We're starting to pick it up now. I got him. Yep, look at that. Is that a cut, too, on his face? I'm looking for the body hook like this. Body hook. Uh, hook to the face. Lead. Switch that stance back. Orthodox. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Starting to work now. Daniel Jacobs moving towards me. It's not looking good. It's actually looking a bit tight right now but a beautiful hook at that he's starting to get cut up again oh my days i didn't pre the fight challenges for this fight so we're just gonna have to keep moving forward and just trying to get the knockout victory i'm pretty sure it's a cut or some sort that you want to get in this fight that's probably one of the challenges look at this that's what i'm talking about right here now he's tired now he's tired who gets the last laugh who gets the last laugh who gets the last laugh, Jacobs? Who gets the last laugh? Beautiful drop. Look at the blood all over the screen, man. It was an uppercut to the peck, but it looked like the diaphragm. That punch right there can end lives in the UFC and in the boxing ring. And we see it right there, Lucas Dimitri. Monstrous uppercut as well after the fact. Ends up putting down Daniels to the mat. And I think he will get up here, and he does. All right, six round here danny jacobs still here to fight and we're looking for the knockout no doubt about it we are looking for the knockout i'm gonna keep my distance though and we see a cut forming on the right side of his face now we're targeting that with the hook and i think we might actually knock this guy out wow the right hand didn't clip him on the face good one two and another straight wow that straight punch is just clipping him beautiful he's starting to get cut up danny jacobs this is probably my most dominant fight i've had at least in terms of how it looks on his face now he's starting to block the body. He's starting looking up top. Good slip, though, from Lucas Dimitri, the counter puncher. There he is again, once again, baby. Good slip, but here's Danny Jacobs with a nice uppercut. Looking for the body hook, though. No luck. Good straight. There we go. Oh, crap! Rocks me once again. And I gotta get out. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. Get out, man. Get out. Oh, my days, bro. What the heck? Danny Jacobs, bro, is not playing. Come on, bro. Rock. Get rocked. Bro, like, what am I doing, man? I'm doing all, everything I need to. This dude ain't getting rocked anymore. Woo. Dang, bro. I'm out here throwing all these punches. Look at his face, man. 
He's about to get dropped. Either he's about to get dropped or it's about to be a cut stop victory. Boom. There we go. I haven't had a cut stoppage yet. Let's find out if we can. Beautiful. It's going to be the counter. The counter lead hand. You don't got enough stamina for that, bro. It's going to be one punch just like that. Danny Jacobs going to throw all these punches, right? And our one goal in the seventh round is just to matador him enough to get one punch like that to the body or to the head. That's going to rock him. Switch stance, switch stance, switch stance. This orthodox punch is going to blast him. There we go. Dang! Cracked again by Danny Jacobs, and it's not looking good, bro. This dude's a beast when I get rocked. If I get dropped... Ah, oh, come on! Come on, get off me. Get off me, Danny. Nah, nah, nah. We're not clinching, bro. Yup. How? How did I not drop him, bro? Look at his stamina. Come on, man. This dude should be dropped right now. Come on. Come on, Jacobs. You want that, bro? Let's fight. Let's fight, man. It's a long fight. Seventh round. Let's go. Damn. Oh, 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 oh crap. Oh, shit. Nah, 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 nah. He got it. He got it. He got it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Look at me now. I'm out here getting cut up too. Oh my days. I didn't even realize my damage up there on the top. My damage is horrible. It's sitting at 77. His is at 84 though. And I'm actually winning this fight. So let's actually get the W now. Yo, I don't know what's going on with my sticks now. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Switch the stance. Good hand, good hand, good hand. That's a right one. One to the body maybe. Looking for it. Good left hand. That was a nice jab. Not everybody can get knocked out, but we're looking for it right now. Believe me. Good blocks, good blocks. Come on, bro. He's about to go down. I feel like I've been fighting this fight for 30 minutes. I probably have. Usually when I'm on Undisputed online, <laughs> my fights be going 10 rounds, at least 8. So I'm kind of used to have a, uh, having a fight this long, but I really want this knockout, though. There we go. There we go. Working that body. That's my goal. I'm gonna have him. I'm not gonna let him get no space anymore. Yeah, once we got him like this on the ropes, it's over. I'm gonna have him keep throwing these punches. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my sticks. I go to like slip back and do a straight punch, and it's just not triggering right now. So hopefully I can just attack that eye some more. That's his main focus right now. I gotta look for that eyeball. It's just crazy, man. Finally! Finally, he goes down, and it's over. It has to be over. Oh, my days, man. A monstrous fight at that. Back and forth, we're both cut up. Look at this. Left hand and then the right hook to the body ends up doing the trick like always, baby. And a beautiful right hand, too, to put him down. Hopefully, he doesn't get up. Four, five. And of course, he's back on his feet. And that is the end of the ninth round. And look at him out there. He's looking dazed and confused. Let's go. Let's go. Let's finish. Oh, that eye is bad. That eye is bad. Look at that eyeball he got. There it is. It's over. Finishing shot. It's over, man. In the middle of the ring. Thriller in the Manila Arena. And it's over, man. Beautiful uppercut. Let's see it again. I think it just grazed his chin. Yeah, flicked his chin up a little bit. Lucas Dimitri come up with monstrous intentions. And honestly, I, I spared his life. I spared his life with not coming up with another uppercut. I should have. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. What does this dude think this is, man? What does this dude think this is? Bro, done, man. You're done, no. He got messed up bad. Look at this. I think it was a left hook body shot, and we just switched it up. Look at that. Oh, my days. The right hand stunned him. It's over for him. Danny Jacobs, fall to the floor, man. Four, five, and he's done. About time, man. Danny Jacobs to the ground. Oh, my Lord. It finally happened. Tenth round knockout, I'm pretty sure it was. Took me ages. But look, it does not matter which round it comes in. It's still a knockout victory. Even Rocky Marciano had a 13th round KO. And he still knocked out every opponent he's fought. So, that just goes to show, it does not matter when you drop your opponent and put him out. Lucas Dimitri, though, once again, KO victory. This one was pretty hard fought. He got dropped twice. Maybe three times. I'm not even sure. Um, it looks like he was dropped one. I'm pretty sure he was dropped one time. 
one time. Maybe it was two. I'm not even sure. But look at that. ESPN classic fight. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. And that's the way you had to win it. All right. With that being said, I'm going to end this episode off here. It's been Frank in the boxing ring with Lucas Dimitri. Just want to say thank you for tuning in. Subscribe if you did enjoy. Peace out. Stay safe. And I'll catch y'all tomorrow.